So as I said, Shabbat Shalom again. So we are at um, Sister Banat resident. So um, how old is the baby now? The baby is three months. So um, Deacon, Deacons, we know she can even be pregnant again, right? It's natural thing. Cause me and my sister we just months apart. Me and my sister we not in years apart, we months. So um, he soon start to walk and he took one bank already. So we're here, so we come to worship with her today. As um, Deacon was stressing for a while back. So we bring the studying to you today, man. Can? So you all welcome Sister Agnes and give her a round of applause. Sister Bannock, give me a quotation, please. About baby. Why? Am I not fear this one? I was seeing her for three months a while. And I more than that. And I come and I ask for a quotation. And she sit on talking to herself. Isaiah? Go. And it's a fact that from one new moon to my mother, and from one Sabbath to my mother, all fresh shall come to worship me that says the Lord. Okay, well done. See, that was it. I have your thinking again, right? Don't clap her, she don't deserve it. I have to be waiting for it. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to bless the baby when the sun goes down. And she said I should give the baby name, so we'll give the child a name today. And we'll bless the child. So you'll have a Hebrew name from this day going forward. Can? Can. The one thing we used to do in Israel, when we show up for the eight day circumcision, the child would always have a name already. You understand me? But regardless, now we're in captivity. So we're going to give the child a full Hebrew name today. Something that we do in the West. When our child born, you even have the name before you born. You understand me? So even... But here, they do it different. So that, this is even common sense. Because you talk to the child, no. The child understands. You don't understand him, but he understands you. Because if you make funny face, he's going to laugh, right? Why is he laughing? And he's saying, look how foolish mommy be. And he's waiting for you to call him by his name. What is his name? What is his name? He's waiting for you. Just like when you have a puppy, a dog, anything. You call him name. The first one week, they might not reply to it. But when they call him the second week, they come to their name. So you see him where with children. So you talk to them, talk to them, call them their name. You can even sing to them. You can start teach them to count. You understand? Sorry, you understand me? They're going to remember. You understand me? But here, no, we do a different approach, but we have to move like where everybody else moves. Can? Okay. So today, um, closing on Sabbath class, we're going to look in the gospel. So we're going to go to Matthew, the 22nd chapter. So everybody find Matthew 22. And I'm going to ask Shamak to read. Where's the Bible, Shamak? So you go to war without a sword. The deacon can give him his sword. You see the mother? This is what I teach about mother this morning. Expect the father to give up his sword. Don't give nobody your heart a deacon. You better make it on that ship. You remember we read the ten virgin, five wise, five foolish. Don't give nobody your heart. No care who it is. Right, so we're going to start Matthew the twenty second chapter. When you find a shamak, you read from it. It was in Matthew chapter twenty two, verse number one. Mm-hmm. Now shall I answer them speak. Speak up, sir, I can't hear you. Now shall I answer them speak unto them begin by parables. By what? Parables. So you see, so even Yahweh shy talking, everything never came clear. 
Just imagine your parents talking to you in parables. You're going to be frustrated, right? So now Yahusha said, speaking to them in what? Read on. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. So you see that? So Yahusha was giving parables based upon what? The kingdom of heaven. And Yahusha said, the kingdom of heaven is like what? A king. Which is the king is who? Yahweh. Made a marriage for who? His son. Who is that son? Okay. Read on. And he sent 47 to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And no, the servant was who? Who were the servants? The prophets, the disciples, the apostles. So he sent out his servant to get those that were what? The invitation he sent them. Because just like you now marrying and you giving out invitation. Who first you giving the first set of invitation to? Your, your so-called dignitaries, right? So you see. So when now the message was go out for the dignitaries to come to the wedding, who was those dignitaries at the time? Who? No. The disciples were the servants. They cannot be the servants and the dignitaries. The disciples and the prophets were the ones who put the message. So who was the dignitaries? The leaders of the people. Always go to the elders. So when Yahushai come, he went to the, the elders. When he was in the church at 12, who was he teaching? And the doctors, you go to the dignitary. So they were the first one to get invitation to this wedding. Read on. And they would not come. And they would not what? Come. Because is not he Joseph's son? Is not his father a carpenter? Don't we know him? Do you see what's taking place here? Invitation went to them, but none of them came. None. Read on. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden. Behold, I have prepared my dinner. Stop. So when they never come, maybe those servants fought was a problem. So he said, Okay, no, I get new servants. I get Stephen. I get Paul, I get Timothy, I get all these other new apostles. Go invite these servants. What did they do? Didn't they kill Stephen? Didn't they kill all of them? Right? Read on. My oxen and my fatlings are killed. Mm -hmm. And all things are ready. Come on to the market. Look at this. So you see, for you people in Ghana, when they come, you get one kete kete fish. No, Yahweh Shai said, tell them. We don't have kete kete fish at this wedding. We have cows, we have lambs, we have goats, we have food. Because black people love to eat, right? Yeah. You go to wedding, you want a carry away plate, right? Yeah. Hey, some of these wedding have famine now. You can barely get a whole fish. How are you? will get a fish head. You go to a wedding and there's no wine. You believe that thing? You give sugar and water. So no, Yahushai said it different. Yahushai said, listen, tell them we have food at this wedding. I kill a whole cow. I kill sheep. I kill lamb. So tell them to come. Read on. But they made light of it. Mm -hmm. And when they away. Read. to his come, and to his merchandise. Read on. And the remnant took his servants mm -hmm. and entreated them spitefully. Read. And slew them. And what? And slew them. That's why all the prophet went there amongst black people. Anybody come to for you to be better, you the one going to destroy him. You going to betray him, you going to kill him, you going to deal with him spitefully. So what we read in the Bible is for our understanding. So nothing is new. Whatever thing someone do me, guess what you did? You did the same thing in past life. Because the scripture said, Oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem, kill it all the prophets. All the prophets in the Bible were diamond by your hands. And your rejection. Do you see that? Yeah. Right? Read on. But when the king heard thereof. When Yahweh heard, what Yahweh did? He was wrath. He was what? Rough. He was upset. Read? And he sent and he sent forth his armies. His what? His armies. Read? And destroyed those measures and burned up their city. Look at this. Don't you wonder why we're suffering like this, eh? Yeah. We were the one that get invitation. And although we get invitation, we reject it. 
So now the Musa has sent his army to destroy the city and to burn the city. Now we the children of those burned cities. As the scripture said, we have done worse than our fathers. So you see this now, we're making the same mistake that our poor parents made before. Do you see what's taking place? We're making but the same mistake what our four parents made before. Right? Read on verse 8. Then saith he to his servant, mm -hmm. the wedding is ready. The what? The wedding the is date. ready. The date. We're not going to change the date. Mm -hmm. The year mm -hmm. The wedding date is set. We will not change the date, sir. Y'all a bunch of babbling. Keep quiet. Hmm? Why everybody laughing this day? Hmm? The, the Bible said that what it said? Mm. The date is set. So we will not change it. That's right. Regardless what dignitary don't wake up. That's why I tell people there's no, only dignitary I know is person garment and fringes in. There's nobody else outside of this regime that I respect. If Nana come here now, you have to sit in the back and then you have to give his quotation. It's no difference. It could be the Queen Elizabeth if they come. Because yeah. they have to learn. You understand me? Because there's a thing that we learned when we came up in One West. And we learned this because when you do all the exam and the tests for leadership, you know, you will know. We never debate with somebody that we don't know. We only debate with our equals. Everybody else we teach. So me and Nana could have not, we could not have a dialect. You understand me? So you have to, you have to learn. I couldn't debate with him. I don't know. We only debate with people who know or are equal. Like I was talking to somebody, I make your neck. I was talking about name everything. Like a sharp pastor. I don't know who is so sharp. And I ask him, I tell him that he was telling me that Jesus is an English word. So I was telling that Jesus is Greek. There's no meaning for the name for the Son of God in English. He couldn't see it, man. And I, I said, okay, that one is above your head, Sarah. That one was that you could not see it. You're too, too tall for you. And I even go and tell him that England original language was Frank, not English. He Googled it right then and there. When I said, what language is this? I never know this. I never know this. I say the British, the original language was French. They speak French. Not English. They change, they make up that English language in the so-called Renaissance in the late 1600s. He never know this, but yet he's in church. Last week, Sunday, I was at the fish market beacon. And I see a, he was a chief apostle. Chief apostle. So remember, when I become a pastor now, that means he's a teacher. So he was a chief teacher. So he have a Bible under his hand. He, could, he don't know Genesis 1 in the beginning was God created heaven and earth. So I took the Bible from him. So when I took the Bible, it was a good news Bible. So that's why I asked if anybody have the good news Bible. So when I read Acts 13 verse 1, he said, And there was in the church that was at Antioch, certain teachers and prophets as Barnabas and Simeon that was called black. That's what the good news Bible said on him. Yeah, he said black. Acts 13 verse 1. He said there was certain teachers in the church that was Antioch that was called black. So he didn't even say Niger, he said black. So he could not read it, so I have to call Sister Mayana to explain it to him. So then I walk away from him because I said, he's my student, we're not equal. So when I walk away, I was sitting over there watching them clean the fish. I hear Sister Mayana telling him, oh, you're teaching people and you can't read. You have to come to learn to read to go and teach people. That's a past I have the Bible and cannot read it. You understand me? So this is the fact that we're facing today. Because the wedding is set for them to come in. But you know what? They cannot come in. They go back to their vineyard. They go back to their merchandise. They go back for what? The cares of the world. And the date is set. You are shy calling you. As the scripture said, all day long I do what? I stretch out my hand to what? A rebellious people. 
So even some of us who come and think we're in the line for the wedding, we won't always be left going back. Because a lot of you join this truth, and when you join this truth, you think you join a religious organization. You understand me? This is not a religious organization. This is a nation we're building. You understand me? So that's why when I came here, every day I analyze y'all mentality. You understand me? I was talking to Zaquan and Priest Yakanan two days ago, and I was showing them the issue with even rapper daughter and mentality for what the father wants her to do and what I feel that better for her to do. Because you're building a nation. You understand me? And she left now to go sell shoes at 16. Just imagine, what benefit can she benefit the nation? You tell me. Do you know the most I say no one no slackful person around him? When he said come to Zion, he said the cunning woman, right? He's, that's why he don't deal with fools. So even though we come and we say, listen, we're building a nation. And if somebody wants to leave, and the person leaves, and those are the mentality what you want amongst you, it's a religious organization. It's not nation building. It's, if, if you have children, and you don't want your children to be better than you, it's a religious thing you're teaching them it, because you're going to teach them and you're going to pray and nobody never ever pray on this earth and money follow this guy. It will, nobody will ever pray in the world and you go somewhere and find a, a briefcase of money put down. It will not happen. Because we're building from a nation up. Some people want a big congregation. When they get the big congregation now, they collect all the money. What they do with the money? Our congregation will be bigger. We will get resources. But when the resources come, you have to share equally to everybody. That's the law. So don't think we going to run this like all oh, the religious entity running. No, it don't work like that. Okay, if we have 100 people and 100 people give 20 a day, that's what, 2,000 CDs? Before everybody go home, we have to ask who have food to eat. I came here to visit this Sunday. Did I ask you that? That's a common thing to do. How am I going to go home to eat and you here don't have nothing to eat? I came and make sure I said, Sister Barnard, do you have something to eat? She said, we'll make it all that. We could. How am I going to come and visit you and leave your house? Don't know if you're going to eat or not. So anybody doing anything else, they're part of a religious, they envy the Christian pastors. That's what they want. That's what they, they zeal is. But when we're building a nation from the grounds up now, we have to know that the children have to be good. Who is that? Hey, bring it, come, brah. Bring it. Bring it. My daughter said. Go sit. Right? Read verse 8 again, sir. Of St. Matthew chapter 22, verse number 8. Read. Then say yet he to his servant. Read. The wedding is ready. The what? The wedding is ready. Read on. A day you which were bidden were not worthy. So you see that? They were they were the first invitation go to. They were not what? Worthy. They're not worthy for this wedding. That's why I want you to think for yourself. Don't ever make anybody think for you. And lack the spiritual aspect in your mind. The white man tell you that every child, before you reach age seven, that child have a million dollar idea. That's why they have all these cartoons, Nickelodeon, and all. It's children they get the ideas from. But guess what? All your children in Africa have that. So what they come up with? I see a little 10 year old boy was talking about spirituality and Christianity, and everybody in Ghana saying have demons. So do you see the difference, Deacon? Just because a child not saying the same thing you saying, he have demons on him. And you don't have no demons. But the child have demons. So it's a lot of people not worthy for this. But you, the only one, can decide if you are worthy. And as the scripture said, the date is set. The date is, will not be changed. 
but it's only a select few when walking through the door in that day. Because all of you join the truth and think, where did it say we all have to be together and be happy together? Do you know our brothers I don't speak to? We come from the same vagina. What, what in the world say so we have to come and we have to be all this? Listen, it's right, it's wrong. It's righteousness, it's unrighteousness. I have a brother in prison. The last time I see him was 2009. I have a next one, he's in Texas. He's a pastor, he married a white woman. My children never speak to none of them. Because although you have children, those children are my niece and nephew, but their mother is white. They look too pale for me. So I see them. I went to my mother's house and see them. I didn't even speak to them. They didn't even speak to me. I'm sitting looking at them. And this is over 14, 15 years ago. I have not spoke to my brother since then. I was a pastor and he showed up at the family event with a white woman. So I see that as being disrespectful. But it was a family occasion, so he bring his wife. But I still see, it. you know where I stand. It was disrespectful. Because she's the devil, the Bible speaker. No, I don't care who marry her, she's still the devil. So if I can deal with my brother that way, who are you? Hey. That's why in the West, we do everything different. I can get married, my parents don't have to be there. They don't even have to know. You don't make nothing. It's a bit different. And we might stay by that until the chariots come. No change, no surrender, no retreat. No retreat. My daughter can't get married no easier for me. Because she tell me I'm the one I have to give him something. Give her something. But if she go married and don't tell me, okay, all right, who is he? What am I going to do, cry? Hey. Read on, but I'm going to take the diary though. I believe in that part. Mark 2, verse number 9. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore into the highways. So Yahusha, I send the servants again to go where? Into the highways. Read on. And as many as they shall find. Read. Read to the marriage. So Yahusha said, no, that's what we're doing now. Back in Israel, when they were teaching, where were they going to teach? Peter them. In the temple. They arrest them in the temple. But now Yahweh Shai said, listen, don't go back in the temple. But go back to the highway and the byways. So where's the highway? Where's an highway? Give an instant. Where's the highway? Huh? Yes. So where's the byway? This. This is the byway. It's off from everywhere. So Yahweh Shai said, go there, and as many as you bid, do what? Bring, to the Bring them in. Read, but verse 10 is what is serious. Read on. Verse number 10. So those servants went out into the highway. Read. And gathered to God together all, as many as they found. Read. Good, bad, and good. Look at that. Hmm. Who first came? Bad. But you all expect everybody to come. It's good. You are a bunch of hypocrites. And we only find this problem in Ghana. Because you are not good yourself, you know. But you sit and look at everybody and expect them supposed to be good. So you're going to criticize, you're going to talk, you're going to gossip, you're going to point finger. But look at this. Read verse 10 again. In Matthew 22, verse number 10. Read. So the, those servants went out mm. into the highway Read. and gathered together all as many as they found. Read. Both bad and good. Read. And the wedding was finished with guests. Look at this. Did Yahweh stop them from coming to the wedding? Did he stop them from coming to the wedding? So when you go out in the highway and teach, you cannot go there and teach people and think everybody should go and be on your level. Everybody going to do what you do. Some people used to eat cat. Some used to eat dog. Some used to eat quissy. Some used to eat chicken. Some used to eat octopus. Some used to eat squid. You understand me? But now you will condemn a man who used to doing it. But you all used to eat it one time, right? 
and your life have to change for you to be on the level that you are now, right? But some of you so evil, you don't give people the opportunity for change. As soon as somebody do this, you want to crucify him. But one thing, everybody have a record. Whether you're proud of it or you don't proud of it, everybody have a record. Take those cookies for me. Is that one? See? Some people record is obese. Obesity. They, they just, um, as what they call you, how shy. What was your how shy? What was? Just was eating all the while. Right? Read on, Shaman. Rest of me, he left. And when the king came in to see the guest, mm -hmm. he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. So you see now, you're how I walk in. Don't want to look in my pool, I used to water for you. I'm the only one in the back of the school. Read verse 11 again, sir. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. And when the king came in to see the guest, mm -hmm. he saw the Emma, which mm -hmm. had not on a wedding garment. So now, you see how everything is important? They go collect the good and the bad. They said the color of wearing is blue. So now, Yahweh walk into the marriage, guy is the one giving away his son. Is there somebody in the ill? I'm gonna call a kid. Yeah, what I say? Everybody show up in linen, pure linen. Cause when you go to any event with the most it's linen. All of a sudden, there's somebody walking with kente. and nobody said nothing to him. Everybody just enjoying themselves and looking food, and they have their seconds, right? Mm. Read on. Verse number four. And say it unto him, friend, mm -hmm. how came thou in Hitler not having a wedding garment? Real? And he was speechless. And he was what? He could not answer. Mm. Real? Then said the king to the servants, mm -hmm. bind, him, bind him hand and foot. Treat him like a criminal. Mm. Real? And take him away. Real? And cast him into outer darkness. Real? There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Real? For many are called. For what? Many are called. And what happened? So you see it. So everybody called to the wedding. But now it's time for what? A choosing few. Do you see that? But they bound him hand and foot and put him in what? Out of darkness. Put him in what? The abyss. Just because he showed in what? A different material. But the, the problem was there was no judgment given to the one them there that was bad, is it? Because that's why some people might be changed in what? In a twinkling of an eye. Right? So this is what you see taking place. So even sometimes we, you have to be very mindful, brothers and sisters. And some what I see, it lack among us forgiveness. A lot of you don't know to forgive, or a lot of us black people don't forgive. But y'all forgive the white man. People slander a black man, people talk down on a black woman. How much of these same people talk anything about a white man? Huh? But what verse 14 said, read that. For many are called, mm -hmm. but few are chosen. Read verse 15. Then when the Pharisees and took counsel, how they might entitle, entitle him in his talk. Look at this. That's why even the radio people call threatening, I must be careful. Listen. Some of you are scared. I have no fear. I have no fear. If I die today, I'm going to die a martyr. If I die right now, there's a legacy. People going to talk about the work that I've do, done and what I've done for black people and this nation. So please get me out of this misery. If I die today, when I come back, in the regeneration, I'm going to read book what people write about me. So that's why we said we don't debate with novice. We only debate with our equals. Because we have a reputation. We've been there. We've done that. We have legacy. And that's why all of you have the ambition to create your own legacy too. 
Do you understand? I die today, my children will say, my father went there. My father did this. They'll teach their children, which is my grandchildren. So that's something that the most I helped me to create throughout the years. Many leaders in Israel, who much in Africa like this? Who much know to survive amongst people that not as their peers? You understand me? Do you know when I came here, people was doing videos, say I met people through Facebook, and I talked to people, make I come here? And I have to do a video, I said, find one person in Africa that I was telling I was coming to Africa. So when I came here, I would never speak to one person in this country. By no social media all that. I just came by faith. Because I tell them all, if I'm your servant, you're supposed to lead my part. You're supposed to be there for me. If the most I will not be there for me, what am I, what's the reason of living? If he's not going to defend me, what the purpose? Who else? Even the Bible tell you, when the most high spirit leaves Saul, what King Saul said, what the purpose of living? If a man will live and God is not with him, God is not by his right hand, who would you rather to be at your right hand? Satan? Right? Verse 15, sir. Verse number 15. Then when the Pharisees and two counsel how they might encounter him in his talk, mm -hmm. and they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, mm -hmm. saying, Master. So you see that the Herodians was what? Disciple, they were student to the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Right? This was a sect of people now like the Catholic. The black Catholic in Ghana. Remember, Herod was a white man. Herod was a Roman. Yeah. But the Herodians were Israelites. You understand me? They were the ones that teaching the Romans our customs. So they sent these people out now to Yahusha. Read on. Saying, Master, we know that thou art true. But they agree that what he's saying is the truth. That's why nobody can come and tell me what I said in the Bible is wrong. So the only thing they can do, they will entangle and they will set trap. You understand me? And then they will try to infiltrate because that's something that the white man do very well. Infiltration, he do it, he don't, he know to do stuff like that. So that's why everybody have to watch their back and just know that. Because Judas was infiltrated, right? So do you think some of your years not Judas? Hey, I'll be a fool if I don't believe that. Read on. We know that thou art true mm -hmm. and teaches the way of God in truth. Read. Neither carries thou for any man. But thou regardest not the person of man. So you see that? So if they go to Yahusha and say, Yahusha never cared for men. Our old man feel, our old man think. And Yahusha don't regard them. Who is me to regard people? Who is me? Today there's a whole unity camp in Chicago. I would rather be there than anywhere on this earth. Because last week you have some Israelite brothers and some Palestinians fight. You understand me? So Israel meets up now and they're going out there today in the thousands. Because we don't regard the Palestinians. And to defend our brother, we'll do that at any cost. Because that's what we're about. Because one thing brothers can say, I was there. You understand me? We, most of us get locked up, right? Shamat Deacon. We always there. I see people were shaking like me. People were shaking, trembling like leaf. We all see that. And I'm saying that now because the incident might come out in my book. Because I give Zakwa and all the permission what to put and what I see. That's in my experience. But one thing a man will talk with his brother. A man will show intention to destroy his brother. Just like all these Herodians went up to Yahushai to trick him. Because what they want Yahushai now to say something bad about the Roman Empire. To say, you see, he's talking about the Roman Empire. But there's a time and a place for everything. This was then. No will tell the white man that he's the devil, the Bible speaker, in front of his face. Nobody don't have to ask us to get us in our word or our trap. The white man and the white woman is the devil, the Bible speaker. They're the big devil and the little children now become the little devil. So we have confidence now because it's a time and a place for everything. So it's a time and a place now to tell them exactly who they are. 
the Chinese, they're the scum of the earth. The Arab, they were born through a born woman. They nobody, they never consider. Their own father kicked them out. So nobody want to hear the history. Do you understand me? So we confident now can tell them all of these things. And I can do it openly. These nations, as the scripture said, there is a drop of the bucket. They're not equal to you. But when you look at it now, guess what happened? You want to be like these nations. That's why we read it today in Ezekiel 20, verse 30. The most I say, you desire to be like the heathens. Where's your style? You don't wear your traditional clothes no more. You watch TV, you watch this, you want to dress like them. You don't like your ear no more. You want fake ear what they make to look like them. When you better than these people, God choose you, not them. But when you understand the situation that you're in, God put us in that situation because of what? Disobedience. That's why today he said, you're arcing. If you come back, your blessing going to be like the river. How many rivers in no dry up? No matter the season, the river endure. That's what your blessing will be like. But do you trust the Mosai? We don't trust the Mosai. Right? Read on, sir. Verse number 17. Tell us therefore, what thing is thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? So that's a big thing. When you play with people money, that's why most of these people in Ghana, they're upset with that little 10 year old boy. Can you say the pastor robbing the people? And the pastor don't want nobody to look and consider, should I give tithes? Do you understand that the state protect the pastors? So they ask you how we shall, should we pay tax to Caesar? Read on. Or not. Mm -hmm. but how shall I perceive their wickedness? And so you say, see what it was? Israelite niggas went to tell Yahushai. So Yahweh shall perceive what? The evil and the wickedness. Mm. Right? Read on. And said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they brought unto him a penny. They brought to him what? A penny. A peswe. Mm. And he said unto them, mm -hmm. Who is this image and superscription? Who is on the money? And the superscription meaning the, the um, initial. Real? They said unto him, Caesar. They said who? Caesar. Real? Then said he unto them. Look how Brother, easy. You see wisdom? They bring a hundred CDs. Who is on it? A bunch of dead men. Why you want it? Give it back to the dead. Do you see that? And everybody left how smart he was. But it was just common sense. It was where your heart desired. Because if your heart is here for money, you'd say, no, I want that money for myself. Do you understand? Yeah. But your heart never desired for the money, so you say, give it back to him. Read. Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's. Read on. And unto God the things that are God's. Read. When they had heard these words, Read. he marveled and left him. And do what? And went their way. Read on. The same day came to him the Sadducees, mm -hmm. who say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, really? saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, mm -hmm. and raise up seed unto his brother. Mm -hmm. Now there were with us seven brethren. Seven? Brethren. Really? And the first, when he had married a wife, mm -hmm. ceased, having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seventh? So you see what they ask? <laughs> so you see, evil sisters, it was not no law that you could marry outside your brother. Did, did the Sadducees ask him that? When the woman, when the, when the husband died, could the woman marry somebody else? He said, no, it's seven brothers. So the woman dealt with all seven brothers. Do you see that? And they all die, and they said the woman died now. So they say the re resurrection, whose wife she should be. So it's not like the sister you want can marry ever in her life again. It's not permitted. Because they can have children. So even if she went die, if deacon did pass, 
when I say I have one. She, she could not and should not marry again. That's the law. But it would never happen like that, right? I know Yalu tried to squeeze it and to justify wickedness, right? That's how Yalu do it. But if he can pass, she cannot marry. But if she pass, he can get married again. That's the law. And if Deacon did pass before Aisha had man, she'd have to go to Deacon brother. The first one. If the first one said no, then she'd go to the next one in line. So they were asking Yahusha this question. Read on. Verse 29. Yahusha answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, mm -hmm. nor the power of God. Because you see what they're trying, everything was a temptation. Mm. So they closed their mind off to one thing. So what they're trying to do now is speculate things, to create things like, if I do this, what will happen? Do you understand me? If I go bathe in the river Jordan, I should live to see 50 years. Right? So how shall I say they hear? Read on. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. Read on. But as, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So this is what they say. So this is what the Christian church take and tell it's not male or female. Only thing I wish I would say, when you're in the spiritual realm, nobody think about this thing. Do you understand me? When you're in the spiritual, when you go in the spiritual realm, nobody will be marrying or anything up here. But when you resurrect back on the earth, the woman will go to her first husband. Do you understand me? So you see how simple their mind was? When you die, you go and go up there and you go and wait for your wife at the pearly gate and all this madness. You ever see anything like that? That's what Christianity teach. But Yahushua said, when that happened, you go, you live like the angels do. Right? But when you resurrect back on the earth, the woman going back to her original husband. That's where the marriage and everything going to be. Just like I was telling you yesterday, paradise is on the earth. Because the, didn't the scripture tell in that part, after death is what? After death is what? Is? Judgment. After death is what? But can the spirit be judged? So you have to come back in the place to be judged. <laughs> you have to come back in the flesh to be what? To be judged. So it depends on how wicked you is. Your next life you might burn here in Togo. Or Nigeria or something like that. Can? Uh, Alright, read on, sir. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, mm -hmm. have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God saying, Read on. I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Read. God is not a God of the dead, but of but the what? living. But what? But of the living. So where is paradise is? Mm -hmm. Paradise is amongst the living in life. Now what the word paradise mean, man? You was cheating earlier, you know. I see everything. And I pity you today. But you know your burden will be triple. Don't worry about it. You're still denying it. Was, he, was she cheating, Deacon Awar? Was she doing cheating? Okay, but she said, where was I cheating? You see, I have a witness. The Bible said the most of one witness. I was helping him out, Elder. Was he asking for help? Yes, yes. Yes. So now, nobody gonna help you with paradise. What the word paradise mean? Paradise. What it mean? You always going to a Christian church. You want to be in paradise. What the word paradise mean? Paradise mean at rest. Paradise mean rest. Well done. Right. Read on. It means rest, Shama. Safety different from rest. I'm safe now. Am I in paradise? <laughs> Who is troubling me under here? You all just want to create things yourself, eh? Read on. Verse number 33. Mm -hmm. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at destruction. They were what? Astonished because it was just simple breakdown. 
It was simple giving sense. Because the most I don't deal, you're not going to get your blessing in the spiritual realm. Mm. So you see, even in Ghana, you see when there's a funeral, all these people on the road with food and drink. Listen man, stop it. Don't give it to the people where they are alive. You put any food or anything in my grave, I'm going to punish you. I'm going to thank you for the rest of my life. Because some of you never buy me a bread. But when I die, you're going to buy me a bread. How evil and wicked is that? Never call me and say, Elder, do you want a soda pop to drink? But when I die, you're going to put a whole case in my casket. What sense is that? And you do it. That's why Mark 7 verse 7 said, what, Mayana? Stand. You look sleepy. Stand up. Stand. Everybody turn around, look at me. Stand. Mark 7 verse 7. Quote. Mark 7 verse 7. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I tell her to turn around. Don't look. I don't trust you. Mark 7 verse 7. Huh? All right, poor phrase of me what it say. All right, go. Shamak, read on for me. Verse 24. But when the Pharisees have heard that. I share. Why are you at Mark 7? Why are you at Mark 7? Read on, Shamak. I'm going back in. But when the Pharisees have heard that. He had put the Sadducees to silence. He what? He had put the Sadducees to silence. Read on. They were gathered together. To do what? Mm -hmm. So you see, this work, if you put all these pastors in Ghana to, to silence, mm -hmm. where well, they can't answer you, you better leave. <laughs> so everybody gathering now, the Muslim and the Christian, they gather against the Irish I know. I remember the time we went to our teaching with uh, we saw these big, big pastors that put your money. Mm -hmm. They were all gathered at one point. They were thinking about what to tell us because we were asking one of them a question. And they all came to ask questions. But they say, brothers, when, as the scripture say, he that loses life for this sake will find him. Uh -huh. Take the fear off, man. You understand me? Mark 7 7. Oh, be in vain do they worship me. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of man. But laying aside the commandments of God, and somebody read it today and could not find it. So, you see? But ask them how much money they make yesterday. Ask them how much money they make 10 years ago. So it's my duty to take that remembrance out and put the Bible in. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. Right, read on. Verse 5. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, mm -hmm. tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Read. Yahweh shall I say unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mm -hmm. with all thy soul, and so, with all thy So life. what is the greatest commandment? Love. So do anybody love God like this? And especially. Nobody loves God like this. Because when you sin, do you feel bad? You don't feel bad. But make you find out that your husband or your wife is cheating on you. Then you'll see what bad feeling is. Or you felt then, that's how you should feel when you break something that God sent you to break. Right, read on. Verse 37, hmm. verse 38. Mm -hmm. This is the first and greatest commandment. Read on. And the second is like unto it. Read. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So, do you love anybody like how you love yourself? <laughs> These are commandments of Christ giving. Giving. So the first one, love the most high with all your might, all your heart, all your soul. Okay? Wow. And the second one, he said, love your neighbor as yourself. So do anybody love your neighbor as yourself? Because if you love your neighbor like yourself, you will not talk about the neighbor. Because you don't like when people talk about you, do you? You understand me? You don't want to be hungry. So if you love your neighbor like yourself, your neighbor will not be hungry. You don't want nobody to kill your children, so you should not murder your neighbor children. So you see, what Yahweh Shai going to explain, read on. 
On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. Mm. If you do these two commandments, guess what you do? You fulfill every all the 613 commandments. Right? Mm. You see, woman can't go out rash. You see, only the village will see something like that, Zawa. So Shamak, when I finish, we go by the tank side. We also have a village. Uh, you have a village there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Read on. Verse number 41. All the Pharisees were gathered together. Yahweh Shai asked them, Read? saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? Read? They say unto him, The son of David. Read on. He said unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord? In what? In spirit he called him Lord. Read? Saying, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thy enemies thy footstool. And that's Psalms 110. Read on. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? Question. Read. And no man was able to answer him a word. Read on. Neither addressed any man from that day for to ask him any more questions. So you see that? From this day, nobody asks because no. People who act like they know something. People who show, that's why none of the pastors will ever challenge us. It will never be. If they come up against us, when they get defeated, not how, but when they get defeated, their entire congregation will not trust them no more. Huh? Yes. So now they said, only thing they can try to do is try their best to shut us up. I am the moderator for the radio. They said many people call while they're having us on. You understand me? He said many people, Kayo was the Shaman. When he said our program is the number one really watch religious program there. They tell us. They said our program is the number one watch religious program on the station. And they said many people call why we have you all there. But they stop. They will not challenge, but they will not put a foot forward. Right? Get me Luke 21, 15. Hold on. Mm -hmm. And this is always key. This is how you know in the spirit. Just say I stand, assume the position. <laughs> In the car, you was up all along enjoying your condition. Now the word of God preaching your sleep. Read, <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Luke 21, 15. It's in Luke chapter 21, verse number 15. Read. Really? I will give you a mouth. And what God said? I will give you a mouth. God said he'll give his servant a what? A mouth. A mouth. And what thing will I give you with a mouth? And wisdom. And what? Wisdom. So God said he will give you a mouth and wisdom. Read on. Which all your adversaries Which shall, what? Your, all your adversaries Read? shall not be able to gain say nor resist. So they cannot overtake you when the God give you knowledge. You understand me? Uh -huh. God saying when give you a mouth and wisdom. So no matter who come up to you with this Bible, they will never have an advantage point. So that's why we alone, we people just see us as being intimidated. I don't know why. Am I not nice, Yakwa? I'm nice, right? So there's no need to be intimidated. You understand me? Not because we have the word of God, but it's because we have the word of God. Can? So that's the end of the Shabbat class, brothers and sisters. So now we're taking questions. Any question? No. Yeah? Sister Bernard, stand for me. Any question? I say I put away the phone. I stop reading about it. Sister Bernard, there's a scripture in the Bible, right? I'll ask you this, I'll quote it and you tell me the scripture. 
Right. I've been seeing many ones. Right. 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 So give me a number from 1 to 12. Yeah. All right. Well done. All right, go back there and stand up. Shamai, everybody keep quiet. So Sister Bana, give me the ninth book of the Bible and a quotation. And a quotation. Look at the Bible and a quotation. You cause it, I nobody force it. Shemai. Night book, huh? Okay, quotation. Well done. Give her a round of applause. For her. First summer is in my book, a quotation. Name somebody you think no. Everybody came. My understand, my. My understand. What's happening? Did you say me, Emma? Yeah, give me a quotation oh, said, in first time. Right? Hey. So nobody know first summer is twenty six. Read first summer is twenty six man. That's the easiest one. That's what I'll go for. <laughs> 